So recently I've been really interested in watching uh, the, the outcry over the destruction of statues uh, by the Islamic State. And it got me thinking about the way in which we uh, think about objects. Archaeologists spend a lot of time thinking and talking about objects. But most of the time when we do this, we think about them in scientific and very rational ways. They don't evoke much emotion in us, um, except that, you know, sentimental moments uh, usually far from our professional obligations uh, as scholars and researchers. We might at the end of a season uh, wistfully wave goodbye to the Greek landscape as we jet away to the glorious northern plains. But these are very rare moments, except when they're destroyed. The tradition of destroying antiquities uh, dates really back to, to, to late antiquity. Where some of the most famous episodes are Christians destroying uh, temples and statues as a way to kind of stamp their political and cultural and religious authority on a community. So there's a long tradition in the West of destroying the important objects. These moments have never ceased to evoke a kind of emotional response. So as we watch ISIS destroy these statues, I was both heartened and dismayed to see my colleagues uh, around the world uh, immediately uh, leap to the defense of these inanimate objects, behaving in ways that we might not expect scientific archaeologists to behave. So in some bizarrely ironic way, the destruction of statues by ISIS opens the door to a sort of sentimental or emotional uh, approach to objects that maybe uh, it, without these kind of events would continue to be uh, uh, would continue to be prohibited to us or would continue to be outside of what we do um, as scholars and as Westerners.